story of Tom Smith, prisoner of war. This is the story of a man in a prison cell. This is the story of death in Japan. Come to romantic Japan and cherry blossom time. Remember the ads in the select magazines and the smiling, lying faces. I'm Captain Hui. Hi. As you notice, I speak perfect English. Yale, 32. You probably won't be able to understand me. I never got out of a jerkwater college. You bombed the sick soil of the pond. You destroyed the graves of our gods. You are to be shot. Shot? I'm an aviator, a soldier. I only you are did... to be shot. We shall strike such a terror in your homeland that you will never dare come here again. Your gods are going to have plenty of headaches. You have 20 minutes left. Well, now I know what to write. My last will and testament. The morning of April 18th, 1943, in the Japanese prison of Kobe, I, Tom Ellison Smith, make my last will and testament. That means I give things away. I have no stocks, no bonds, no family pictures, no nothing. But words. A dime, that'll do for postage. Nothing but words. That's all I have. To grace the girl I hope to marry, I'll leave a certain Sunday in June. You've got a good mind, Tom. I'm building me a glider. Someday you'll, you'll fly to the South Seas. I like you. Do you? You never noticed me, but I've noticed you. Oh, yes, I have. Like other men notice girls? Huh? Have you ever wanted to kiss me? To hold me in your arms? I leave the right, the right to happiness. Yeah. And I leave behind to the kids on my block the chance to be what they really want to be. That's the land. That's the skin of earth that mugs like you and me live on. The land, the people, that's all that matters. I leave behind me the American earth. Yeah, all of it. The way I first saw it. Solid, real, green. What else have I got to leave? Graham's voice. Tom, where's my cane? Right there. I've been marching you to sleep again, Graham? Yeah. Yes, I'll march and march until this fat, lazy world falls apart. Or anyhow, until you young fellas find out that freedom and dignity is something more than just words in the school book. Maybe you haven't heard, but this is a new world. Look, this fellow went 400 miles an hour last week in Utah Salt Flats. Ah, oh, that ain't progress. It's just speed. And listen to speeches again, huh? Speeches? <laughs> speeches can't save this easy world of ours. Cold wind's coming up, though. Still think there's going to be a war, huh? Sure. I don't believe it. What do you believe in? If I have to believe in anything, I'm having fun. Well, you owe people something, don't you? Oh, what? What people? They don't bother me, and I don't bother them. Those Americans who died for that stuff you think is silly. History. Well, history was a lot of young fools once. But we died, too. We stank up the cornfields of Virginia. We didn't like death and gore and dirty holes in our chest, but we did believe. Tom, you just got to believe or you ain't nobody. Who ain't nobody? It's for Graham, it's this year's catalog. I ain't finished last year yet. To Graham, I leave behind the freedom to say what he thinks. 
Liberty. Gee, that's funny. I never noticed that before on a dime. Liberty. In God we trust. Yeah. You gotta believe or you ain't nobody. You will come out, please. Looking little guy gonna order my death. So is it me. Good. Have you ever wanted to to kiss me? Voices in my head. I must be going nuts. Tom? That's you talking, Gramp. I lost my chain again. Gramp, I'm going to lose my life. They're killing us. Us Americans. What's the matter, boy? They're going to shoot you? Yes, Gramp. Now. Right now. You ready, boy? Calm? Yeah. Well, that's how it is. Comes in battle or else like this. With calm dignity. If you believe. I believe. Yeah. And I believe we'll come back here in a great cloud of bombers. And the sky will be filled with our wings and our bombs. And, Grant, we'll burn this evil from the face of the earth. You keep believing that, Tom. Yeah, but there's something else. My last will. I know. It's to you, sitting there in America. Me, here in the dirt of a Japanese prison yard full of the smell of dead men. I leave all of you the last minute of me. Here. Facing 12 guns. Oh, yeah. He's saying ready. Are you ready out there? Yeah. Aim. Look at them aim. At me. That's you. Yeah. What are you? What was that word on a dime? Liberty. But it just come in. We got a job to do, George. A big job, but we're going to do it. Take it easy now. Please. Easy? When our boys are dying? When millions of our allies are already dead and their families asking us for help? Yeah, but we're too old to be fighters. Ah, nobody's too old or too young or too busy or too important to be a fighter in this war when it comes to what I'm thinking about. Tom died for something. All the Tom Smiths died for something. What are we doing to help them? We're going to help the living Tom Smiths. Hmm. How do you figure to do that, Grim? I've been staring at that poster there all day. All I thought I had to do was just put it up on the wall. But we got a whole lot more to do. Oh, sure, sure. I've been doing my bit, too. I give to the community chest, the USO. That's maybe we... what I've been trying to tell you. They're all in this war fund. The USO and the 16 other war agencies united in the National War Fund. It helps the prisoners of war and the merchant marine. It helps the people who are fighting for liberty. It doesn't make any difference whether they're Chinese or English or Russian or Greek. You're going to help, too. What can I do? Why, you darned old rascal, you get into every home and town. Wake them up. Tell them what a wonderful job the War Fund is doing. Tell them that the National War Fund and our own local agencies will ask them to give in exactly one single campaign. Tell them that their contributions will be spread all over the world. Mrs. Murphy, a letter from her son. She'll go for that. Harry Jones, a prisoner in Germany. You've got to help him. Tom Smith gave all. All over the world, countless Tom Smiths are giving. What'll you give? It's up to you.